watch part one, my five favorite teas, I suggest you go watch that. This video would make more sense if you do. If not, feel free to skip. It's up to you. So I wanted to show you guys the one I got quickly from them. It's called Mountain Rose Herbs. And they've been making tea like this since the 1980s. And it's about four ounces. I paid about six dollars i believe it was and so yeah you can just tell by looking at this the amount you pay is worth it so this is a loose leaf lemon balm that i was talking about in my first video you can easily grow this in the springtime in your garden or a pot and if you prefer an herb garden one of my goals for the longest time is to create an herb garden where i have a little wooden pyramid i just haven't had a chance to go buy one or make one myself but in the springtime, I want to make another video to show you guys that process. Since it's winter here and I can't go outside, there's no lemon balm out there, I'm going to skip that part and just tell you guys about how you can go about doing this. And later on, I'll show you in person. But with lemon balm, let's say it's July, it's finished growing, you pick it and you make sure you wash it. There'll be mud on there, insects, who knows, because it's been outside and you do make sure to wash it a few times obviously and then you let it dry in a basin like this so right here this is a stainless steel bowl with a little bit of paper towels um sitting in it you can take any tray if you prefer that instead of a bowl anything that you can let it dry in many people like to put it in the sun however if you put it outside again in the sun you need to make sure you have a mesh bag a mesh bag would look like this and it has tiny little holes in there so you um, can protect the, the herbs from being penetrated by any environmental factors or bugs because you don't want that after it dries. You want this to be ready to be used for tea and that's it. So this is why we tend to dry ours inside. If you don't have a mesh bag, this is a great way to do it in a cheaper way as well so you don't have to go waste money on a mesh bag at the store. If you have a cool, dry area in your house, usually where there's a lot of sunlight, this is where you would place the herbs. So for us, this will be our living room. We got a lot of sunlight through there and we put them on our living room table and they get ready within a couple days. And then after a couple days, you'll be able to do what I'm doing, which is making loose leaf tea. So I already set this up. I'm gonna lower the flame because it's getting a little Okay, so right now, if, many of you have probably made loose leaf tea re before, but the same process applies. You wait till it boils, and then you let it sit and simmer, I would say for a good minimum of five minutes, um, sometimes two minutes, because you don't want to have your water get too cold, but that's why you let it go to a boil, so if it's extremely hot, you know, a couple minutes won't do anything to your tea, and you'll be able to still enjoy a hot beverage, and then... It's good to invest in a strainer. So I actually got this from Modern Rose Herbs a few years ago, and I love it. If anyone's into space, stars, moons, you probably really love this as well. I don't know if the site has it anymore, but if it does, I'll make sure to put it in the link in the description box below. So for those of you who would want one too, it's stainless steel, BPA-free, no worries right there. For any of you who are concerned about what you use in the kitchen, and once it goes to boil, I'll turn this off, and then I'll let it... You know, I'll pour it in to the strainer and I'll let it sit. And I love this strainer because it fits into most mugs and cups. A good way to know when it's done is you'll see a little bit of color and it's boiled and now I'm letting it just simmer. A lot of people tend to like to pour hot water over the herbs, but in my opinion, that doesn't really give you the benefits at all. I'll just pour this now. Let's see how this is going to work when you actually film at the same time. But okay, it's working. Yeah, I think it's at the top. Just gonna let it simmer a little bit. Probably put a little extra water in there. Okay, let's just get that lemon bottom in there. And then let's check this out and see what it is. So you can lift it up and see where it is. Okay, so it's filled. I put, made it a little extra. Well, that's okay, I'll drink the rest, but yeah. So you just leave the leaves in there, whatever you wanna do, let it infuse. And there you go, there's your loose leaf tea. So here's the tea in its final form. It tastes like water or iced tea, but it helps you so much, it makes me relaxed. I just had a massage, so yeah, it'll be perfect.